Mr. President, members of the body, this is probably one of the hardest things that we ever have to debate or vote on if you, if you really take this to heart. And I concur with what the gentleman from Fairfax City said in almost all respects and the gentlelady from Hampton. Um, putting innocent people to death and the atrocities that have occurred in our past are horrific uh, and we should never let that happen again. But the fact of the matter is getting the death penalty now has become a much less occurrence. And, and I firmly believe that 10 guilty people should go free before one innocent person should be part, put to death. And I think our system of justice should reflect that. But I have to share a personal story because as you debate this and think about it in your mind, I started thinking about this story the day we were watching the inauguration. Wonderful, happy event for President Biden and Vice President Harris. And my daughter had a friend, a young Marine. His name was Davis Mosqueda. And Davis was 20 years old, and he was a part of the elite silent drill team for the Marine Corps that's stationed in Washington, D.C. And the last time I talked to him, he was so excited about being in the inauguration for the president and the vice president. He'd only been in the Marine Corps for two years. That's all he'd ever wanted to do. He joined the Marines right out of high school, just been um, promoted to Lance Corporal and the assistant drill master of this very elite drill team. In all respects, a model Marine, in all respects, a good boy, never been in any trouble. All he ever wanted to do was serve his country. That's all he ever wanted to do. So they had a little bit of liberty. And he was looking so forward to going home and had a seven-year-old sister and she had missed him so much. So he went home and was able to spend some time and he was looking forward to coming back to participating in the inauguration. And he was able to go see some of his high school friends. And as they were doing what young people do, um, there was a friend there who had a boyfriend who did not have a good background and he was calling her and I don't know the whole circumstances, but the girl walked out from the group of friends and went outside to talk to the boyfriend and was gone a long time. And this young Marine decided he should go check on her because he knew that they were having some difficulties. As he stepped outside, this guy took a nine millimeter and he shot him in the chest three times. He took that mother's son away. He took that father's son away, and he took everything away that Davis Mosqueda would ever have or ever did have, and he walked away. And I tell you, standing on the floor of the Senate today, there are some people so rotten, so rotten to the core that you can't do anything with them, and you have to protect other members of society from them. That is our responsibility, to do that. There are cases when this is entirely appropriate, and we have the responsibility to preserve this punishment for those that are so bad. They would take a human life just out of pure meanness and rottenness. We all want to be compassionate, but there's some people who don't deserve our compassion. They simply do not deserve our compassion. And that is one of the best examples I can, can think of. That young man didn't get to go back to the inauguration with his drill team because that person was so rotten, he shot him for no other reason than meanness.